talk about hat linings for just five minutes then I'm gonna go play with my son okay happy new year everybody uh, hat linings do you need them do you not need them um, okay the lining is in there basically so that people who don't have a lot of hair on top they're bald they don't make uh, sweat stains over here they make like a after a while just from your head touching it, you sweat and make a circle of grime up there. So the lining keeps that from happening. Um, also, back in the old days, everybody wore hair products. They were sort of like a Vaseline type pomade in their hair. So that would also make a big sweaty stain on your hat. Hence, the lining. Okay. People come in, they think they need their hat repaired because the lining just kind of bunches up in there sometimes. That's what they do. They bunch up. The linings are disposable. You can take them right out, just like that. You don't even need to glue them in. Some companies glue them in. Uh, back in the old days, they sewed them in by hand, and they were made out of real silk. Now they're just made out of satin, which is kind of good because it's not absorbent, and it does block the perspiration instead of like absorbing it. Um, kind of like a man-made thing, so it's not that breathable. What I do is I take my linings out a lot, like when I'm at work, I just wear it like this without the lining. And I've got a lot of hair, and I don't use any greasy products, so I don't need a lining. Um, I'll keep hats for 20 years, wear them a lot, and still never get any stains up there. Where you will get stains are here. This is where you sweat every day on your forehead, every single day on the leather bands. It'll go through there eventually. That is the reason why you have this. This band is in the only place that makes contact with your body, right here. This is not touching your head here. This is not touching, only here. So they keep it dark and they keep it wide. So that eventually, if you permeate through the leather, through everything, the hat, the sweat goes onto this grow grain band and that soaks it, wicks it around and holds onto all the salts and keeps it away from your top and bottom, away from the felt. The idea is you cut off that ribbon for 10 bucks, whatever, 20 bucks, 30 bucks even, for a custom band. You change the band cheaply, and the, the hat, which costs hundreds of dollars, lives on. Now, um, some hats don't have linings, like light felt hats and crushable hats have a different construction. Do I have any here? No, but uh, they have a piece of cloth here instead of leather, and no lining. So crushable hats have no linings. You can stick one in, but um, they generally, you know, I would say only put it in if you get stains up there. If you're bald, you have bald spots, thin hair, and you think you're going to sweat there. Yeah, we could put a lining in. It's ten bucks, you know. And then to put it in is not hard. All you got to do is reverse this, okay. If you have an old lining in there, you just yank it out. It's basically just, it yanks out. It just, just take it out. Any resistance, just... Find where the glue is, pull the little dab of glue off, get it out. Okay, it's not a big deal. You could always put it back in. Now, to put your lining back in, again, very, very simple. Now, most of the time they need steaming, they get bunched up like this. That's why they don't work well. So, you gotta take the hat, lining, steam it out. Get some steam going, just flip it around in the steam. Put it over some kind of cylindrical object, like that, I don't know, the bottom of a two liter Coke or something, and just get this conical shape going again. Get the bad creases out with steam. All right, then get your hat going like this too. Punch it all out. Just do it. Don't do it when it's wet. Obviously, you do this when your hat's dry. Um, okay, open up the sweat band completely. Get your line. Now, does it matter which way the writing goes, forward or backwards? Not really. What I like to do is I, I look at the, uh, the back, I look at the bow, and then I make it so I can read the letters. So, just kind of place it in. And uh, just get it straight. Tuck all those little 
pieces of fabric under there. Now, if it's not fitting correctly, it probably means it's got to get trimmed down, which means you got to take the, got to trim it. Got to cut, uh, whatever, a quarter inch off the end. Don't go crazy. It's very common to cut too much. So don't cut like an inch off. Cut like very, very small amounts. Remember, because whatever you're cutting, it's going to be doubled. It's going to be on this side and that side. So go half of the amount that you want to cut it and stick it in. Remember to open your crown first. All right. Let's assume this is all cut down. Da, da, da. Stick it in. Roll it so the writing looks right. Flip these guys down. Now, if you want to get some hot glue gun, you can get a hot glue gun. And you basically just dab it. You don't want to use beads of glue, big thick pellets, because they dry into little hard pellets and you feel these little marbles in there. So what you do is you almost take the hot glue gun and just kind of wipe it. You just get a little, little smear. Or the glue stick, you know, you just get a lighter, light the glue stick, just go. That's what they do. They wipe it so that it's just kind of a little smear of glue. And you just need you know, one, two, three. Three little dabs just to keep the thing from moving around. You don't glue it in really, really tightly. It's just not going to work well. You need some flexibility and, you know, it's got to bend and stuff. So I just tack it in, maybe one, two, three, four, four dots on each side, front, back, two sides. And then I can do one in the crown, too, to keep the crown from falling down. Not always necessary, though. I don't always do the crown. Bam. There's your lining. Linings are 10 bucks at JJ Hat Center. We could send one out to you. Um, you keep changing the lining, keep changing the band, your hat should never, ever get sweaty. Um, that's the theory. Now, uh, can you take your lining out? Yes. As long as you don't have, like, you know, issues with sweat up there, which I don't because I have such full hair. Um, so there's never sweat there. It's usually in the front, you know. So I can take my linings out. I usually do. I like it because I work in them and they breathe better. Like, you know. Plus, they also roll better. Hats roll better with no linings in it. So if you're thinking about putting a lining on a light felt, consider this. Your light felt crusher is not going to roll as well with a lining in it. It might not roll at all. Um, rolling it might screw up your lining. So if rolling is a big part of it, you know, I would just say consider maybe not putting a lining in a light felt. It's not that easy to do. Um, if you do it, you know, you can get it to work, but uh, light felt hats are generally meant to have no lining. What they do sometimes on straw hats is right on here, they put a sticker, big round sticker, a nice thick one. It's called a tip sticker. And that way your bald head touches that paper, the sticker, and that absorbs the sweat. And just a simple sticker on the crown will do it. Um, you could do a tip sticker. It's usually done with straw hats. Um, I would think maybe the glue might permeate through after years and years. Sticker glue, though, eh, it's pretty thin, you know. Most likely the stick would just dry out and fall out. That's what usually happens. But yeah, tip sticker is a good alternative. If you want to get the airiness of having no lining, but just protect the top from a little bit of sweat, just put a tip sticker in there. Sticker round, find something good, never go to Amazon or something, you know, just stick it in, boom, or two stickers, you know, layer them on top of each other, tip sticker does work, that's it, to your linings, don't be scared of linings, you can take them out, you can put them back in, most of the time they could just get bunched up, you need to stain them, that's it, um, next video we're going to try to teach you how to clean a silver belly western hat, um, a lot of westerns, and a lot of felt hats in general that you could clean with sandpaper, but a silver belly hat is a little different. We're going to talk about that next. And um, Happy New Year. All right. Play out there. Getting from now, Jay.